Hello fellow plant enthusiasts. So I'm going to talk a little bit about gardenia's profile, care, and propagation. So the gardenia, you know, the main species that people know about is the gardenia jasminoides. And it basically has a nice fragrant aroma and that's one reason why people love gardenias in general because of their strong fra fragrant aromas. So they just have beautiful flowers as well. The nice cream like eggshell white flowers when they're fresh as they slowly turn yellow. And they're basically considered part of the coffee family. You can see how the the morphology of the gardenia leaves are similar to that of a coffee plant. And gardenias originate in Africa, Asia, and they can be found in the Pacific Islands as well as Australia. They can grow, you know, you have varieties from around three feet all the way up to 45 feet tall, which is roughly one meter to uh, 15 meters in metric. And they can be grown as cold as zone seven and warmer outdoors, but they also work well as a potted plant. They love full sun, although people seem to feel like they are more of a shade plant, but that's because they can tolerate some shade, but they do prefer the sun. So um, it's a misconception that these are only shade loving plants. And they do like slightly acidic soil. So we have some mulch growing, which helps acidify the soil. But you want a nice well-draining soil, but you don't want it to be way too saturated or to completely dry out either. And they enjoy high humidity. And when you fertilize, you want to give them a fertilizer that's suited for acid-loving plants. Now, gardenias are susceptible to pest infestation. I'm not sure what these are, but you can sometimes get white flies and other kinds of pests. Uh, but, you know, you can use like a special like soapy fertilizer to help treat them. So that is not a big issue. And let us now move on to what everyone was watching this video for, propagating. So to propagate gardenias, you want to grab you a container of water. And I have this container. This is a Folgers Crystals container that's being recycled into a propagation jar. And it's filled partly with water. And what you want to do is find you the cuttings. So these cuttings that don't have flowers on are great and when you use a cutting that has like two or three branches you can actually have a nicer plant growing but I'm gonna just cut this down here where I have a node near the bottom and I'm gonna take a few other cuttings so here I have one with just a single and then here I'll keep that node and cut it from underneath there and let me go look for other non-flowering pieces of uh, branches to get from these plants. So here is a nice accumulation of cuttings. And what all you have to do is stick them in the water with the stem down. You don't even need rooting hormone. It is just so easy to propagate these. So you're going to put them in the container and make sure they're in contact with the water. You know, it's going to be a little cozy with all these in there, but they'll be fine. And you close it and make it completely sealed. And when the weather's nice and warm, you know, leave these outside where they get enough light, but not somewhere where they're going to get cooked by full sun if it's in the middle of summer. And they should, you know, in great conditions, they should root in about a couple weeks. You'll start seeing roots. You know, it could take a little longer if it's a little cooler in your area, but don't give up on them even if you start seeing gunk building up at the bottom. If you do, you can always replace the water. You know, some people prefer to replace every now and then, and etc. And once they start rooting, 
you can actually start to open the lid and just to let it breathe and open it a little more until you have it fully open just to reacclimate to a drier environment than the high humidity in here. But because gardenias love humidity, this method works really well to propagate them. And they do really well when you transfer them to soil. A lot of times the water roots, when people transfer cuttings into soil after they've rooted them, they typically, depending on the plant and how careful someone is, a plant can die because the roots are not hard enough for being put into soil. But I have not had much issue when transplanting these from water to soil. But that's the simplest way that I've seen to propagate gardenias. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and happy planting.